Hey everyone, this is Tracy with Color Me This. This is episode 209. It is the unboxing for my used barrel Prismacolor pencils I bought from eBay. And I did buy these while at my mom's. I bought this set purely, put these in the front, to keep my two 36 year old, let's see if I was 18, uh, here we go, actually 38 year old pencils that I bought specifically for a particular project. I did some freelancing while in college, um, taking art classes at the community college. So these two pencils were purchased. I was definitely a rookie because notice I sharpened this one at the wrong end. So to keep these guys company, I purchased a set of 51 pencils that you and I are gonna look at together. I have to get my trusty box knife. And I need to unbox this now because I'm going to use them today for the last three cupcakes on the cupcake page. Normally I would hoard these and have them be the unboxing for in September for the August haul. But I just can't wait. So I buy a lot of things on eBay. I try to do my research and I will tell you that these pencils were very well priced. So uh, it was from a secondhand thrift store and they had no pictures of the pencils themselves. They only had the various pictures of the case with the pencils in the case and only one of the pencils had the barrel Prismacolor text that's printed on the pencil. So let's just see because I I've asked them uh, a couple days before we left I asked them if they could please provide images of the pencils themselves that anybody wanting to collect these pencils don't care so much about the box this particular box they care about the pencils and what the printing is on the pencils because that's very significant so this person at first I they said yes I have provided pictures but what they had to do because of some of the funky rules uh, about listings this was not an auction listing it was a buy it now listing they um, aren't allowed to add more pictures. Some, In some cases, and some rules will allow you to add pictures, but in certain instances not. So I was disappointed because that link that I had sent the request to was no longer working. So I had to go all the way back out, go to my search, and go back in uh, and search for these, and I found them. The price had not changed. I think that they could have increased the price of these by at least ten dollars having provided the pictures so let's just see if i was um uh, let's see i don't know how this works i know it's supposed to tip back there we go so here all are all the lovely goodies and I think I already told you in a previous video that two of these are made in Mexico and the rest are the ones made in the U.S. Mine right here made in USA okay so what I have done is created a oops that does not work so well does it maybe I just have to have them straight up I don't know how it works probably straight up so I'm gonna lay it down I'll lean it against something 
and there's more of them than I can actually do uh, a quick swatch for. There's no such thing as the quick swatch. So I am looking for some scratch paper. Here are some scratch papers. Uh, these are Pablo's playing with water coral flowers. Okay, so I'm going to just grab some. I remember on this cupcake page, I'm still going for my mom's strategy of don't swatch, just color. But I do want to actually use these, a couple of them, with you guys to just see what we think. Um, I think... I'm not sure even if the colors are duplicated, but just at a glance, it appears that they are not duplicated. I'm looking at these dark browns. Let's go ahead and pull these three out. Everything else looks like different colors. I think that's funny that they made the sepia so big compared to the burnt umber, changing the fonts. These are three different colors. So I'm gonna start just watching uh, Scarlet Red 922 on this scratch paper. I'm gonna go to the smooth side. I think what I'm gonna do is try to do a blend Oh, this one's not even sharpened. Henna. USA. Here we go. I'm doing a sunset blend in reverse. This is Carmine Red 926. I paid tax and shipping $35.50 or so. Crimson Red. I'm looking for an orange. So this is Vermilion Red. Let's see if we can get this all the way to yellow. These feel very crayon-like. They're super soft. I see this light orange. We're going to use it. It is called Orange. And it is also, now this one's a little different, a little different generation than this one that's not sharpened, has the USA stamp, so it is a little different. Look at the text is different. Yellow orange. Sounds perfect. It's a pretty big jump from the orange. So I'm doing some uh, blending here light layers blending, which again is my, I know that these are more smoosh blending than this is a yellow. This should be canary yellow or 916. Okay, now I'm going to go back the other direction. I expected no less. I, I totally knew that these were going to be good. Um, we're going to calculate as soon as we're done. I actually think that I started with Scarlet Red and then used a couple of different transitionary reds. Carmine Red was one of them. So this is very red dominant, but look at that, filling in all the tooth. Beautiful. Okay, so let's do some math. 
my phone isn't available, so I have to grab a mouse, which I had charging. The one annoying thing about using, I have a gaming mouse and a gaming keyboard because I play computer games. They are USB charge rechargeable, so it's kind of annoying having to charge them. I have boxes and scratch papers and all sorts of things, so. Calculator. Um, there are 52 pencils here, and I can tell you that two of them are Mexico ones. And then evidently there's the one with henna that is, here's, here's a Mexico. There's two of these. So the set is a 48 set, and it came with 51 pencils because a couple of them were bought separate. Uh, here's two of them bought separate. And I don't know what the other Mexico one is, but I'm still going to say that I'm going to not need to scrap or not include the three extras. So I'm going to divide my $38 and 50 some odd cents. Uh, let's actually double check that and make sure it's 38 something. I'm pretty sure that's it. Thirty-eight forty-seven under fifty cents. So let's take thirty-eight forty-seven. And divide it by fifty-one. That is seventy-five cents a pencil, folks. That is a sweet deal. Hey future Tracy, popping in to this unboxing video. I decided I would go ahead and film this because it's something I need to do anyway. So I took out all of the pencils from the 48 box. I looked on the box to see if it told me which of the 48 pencils I can expect to find in the box. In This is a 1986. Ironically, that's when I graduated from high school. Uh, at the time, there were 72 colors. And so the biggest set was set 972, which was 72 colors. This is set 955, 48 colors. And I have looked on the internet and cannot find a definitive list of which colors come in the box. I have also taken my two pencils. I'm going to put them aside. They're, they're going to be up. Here they are, my two colors, peacock, green, and magenta, are going to go up and out of the way. Somewhere in here, henna. Here's henna. That's up and out of the way. And there's a Mexico somewhere nearby. I will hit that when I go through. I have uh, a case. It's a 72 case. That's empty, brand new, just waiting for them. When I opened up the box, three LEDs popped out, a green, a brown, and a red. Uh, so I see... Um, That red might be it. I don't think so. Um, that red could have been it. So who knows? These actually look like they these LEDs popped off. Here is a red. Oh, that's too dark. So um, I don't think that those came out in the shipping of the box. I think that they were already uh, in the box from use and moving around. So I am going to sort them. very quickly in color family order to put in the 72.
58. I do not know why these have, so on the front, this says it's lemon yellow 915. On the back says, oh, this is a good one. You could probably read it. Flexible lead made in USA quality control number 58. I was hoping that it would tell me the number it was in the set, but that is not the case. So speaking of case, we're going to put these in a case. I'm going to not get over finicky about the, um, I'm looking for the third of the random colors since this was a, came as a 51. And I don't really know what 48 came in the set. I've identified two of them. One is made in the US, so that's newer than this set. And the other one was made in Mexico. It's just so fun to experiment. So like I said, if I didn't have two of these old pencils, I would never ever have been interested in buying a set of these. I'm just kind of showing you each one as I put it in its slot. There's a shorty. All right, there's magenta. That sat satisfies one question. Here is my magenta, 9-3, the zero is gone. Notice that the, I believe that mine are like a 1990 version. The color is different. This one will go at the end of the case since it is a duplicate. And then you can see that the tips actually are pretty close. So that's pretty exciting. Here's the terracotta. That's the one that's brown and it could be either in the browns or here. This one has cracking around the text. That one has all the way along it where the, it looks like the paint dried, like it was applied a little too wet maybe. It's like a little adventure, an adventure in color. I think I lost the gold. There's the gold on the ground. <clears throat> All right, we're on to the purples. It doesn't seem like this set has a lot of purples. I think it has a grape, maybe? Blue violet, oh, it has purple, 931. True blue. All right, I'm still not seeing an interesting final color from a different set that was added. Here's another shorty, grass green. Oh, here's my other one. Both of mine were in this set, peacock green. 
The barrel's a slightly different color. Uh, the tips don't look very much the same. That'll be interesting to compare those two. I'll put mine at the end, separate. I was curious if I was going to have duplicates of my two. Olive green. Sepia. Sienna brown. Burnt ochre. Dark brown. Oh, another shorty. Look at this little guy. Raw umber. <coughs> Pardon me. I've been a little under the weather since returning. I have a little bit of a cold. So I have been trying to be resting as much as possible. Alrighty. So the set came with 48. One, two, three, four. This is 50. I actually ended up with more than two extras. The two that came in the, in the set. Uh, so I have 52, not 51. They claimed it only had 51 in the set, but they miscounted. Again, this is a thrift store, so like for me as a a pencil snob, I would absolutely have not counted off by one. So these are the four extras. I didn't see any more duplicates colors. Every color was unique in the 50. So somebody supplemented two colors back here. Yeah, so that makes me want to dive in and figure out what the 48 set actually came with because I am decidedly set up with 54 pencils. I expected to have 53. So I am now going to pop this in to the middle of my video because I thought I would share this part with you. Uh, and I am now really going to go away since I have these in a case. It'll be much easier for me to pull my colors for today's daily color. So back to the regular video. Hey, I have to pop in one last time. I want to be sure to do the color match. So we had two magentas. Mine is a newer version of the magenta. Mine is the one that's uh, sharpened on the wrong end. So we're gonna test mine. And then this is the one that came with the set. And they're identical. <clears throat> Remember that the peacock green has very different tips. The color is very similar on the barrel, whereas the tips were the same, but the colors on the barrel were very different on the magenta. So we'll use my green, which is the lighter colored tip. So here's my peacock green. And no, I did not pre-test these. Well, isn't that interesting? I think that the newer 1990s peacock green is a little bit darker. Close. But a little darker. And then here's the last interesting bit I found. I still have not found the two that are of the same generation. But here's what I found about the Mexico one. This Mexico has a completely different font and it also has the color in Spanish. So the Mexico one is a duplicate of True Blue and the color of the barrels are completely different 
and the tips are probably going to make they they look close enough but let's just try this out so here's the one that likely came with the set and here is the uh, Mexican 903 and I think those are the same the only one that's even remotely different is my newer version is the lighter green and the older version is a darker green that's it I think I and as I said I still have not discovered which other two pencils were bought after the fact so I will still be scouring the internet to find out what the 48 colors were that actually came with the set in 1986. So I am going to go away now. I just wanted to unbox these with you, do some, not even quite a first look. I will come back and um, we'll play with them some more uh, outside of the daily color. But for now, I want to go get ready for the daily color. So I can get that done for you guys. So stay tuned. Do all the YouTube things like share, comment, and consider subscribing. And I will see you shortly.